and the sheet that I'm using is the Superstore sheet which comes with the as a sample sheet just to explain how you can create the pie chart so there are basically two ways to create a pie chart the first is basically selecting the visualization after selecting dimension and label or just putting the dimension and level over here and then changing the visualization so let's go ahead with the first step which is let's say sales and then the dimension let's say region if i may select and the pie chart is enabled i can click and here is the information i have region as east south west central and the pie chart related information and uh, if I want, uh, I can change it to from region to something else. Let's say I don't want by region, but I want by state. So I will put it on color. And these are like multiple states that we have. That's why this information is coming uh, or not very clearly displayed. So generally a rule of thumb is uh, if you have more than four or five categories, generally it is not useful to show it on a pie chart so i will go back so i think i'll just remove country and state and put region back and in that case it is clearly and uh, much more information about uh, how these uh, different regions are really you know contributing to overall sales apart from this during the chart preparation if you feel like no i don't want by sale but maybe by profit you can just remove this and uh, say profit to size and you can get the information by profit based on uh, your requirement so that's how it's easy and simple to to basically create the pie chart apart from that uh, additional enhancement you can do is uh, label let's say you want profit to be displayed you can just put the profit on the label and your labels will be displayed and if you want to increase the size let's a little bit then you can increase the size of the pie chart so that it is displayed based on uh, your requirement into the sheet or the dashboard so there are a couple of things that you can do uh, related to the pie chart but that's how very simple and easy it is to create it in the tab view and then further use it in your dashboard and report before I close the video, one last thing, uh, or maybe the better thing I would like to show, which will make pie chart very effective, is about using the angle. Let's say for all of this profit uh, that we are showing currently on the pie chart, if we want to show it with the angle of discount, that uh, how the discount we are currently giving. So as you can see, these are the different sections which are coming. So the maximum section is this particular one where you have 108,000 and then you have 91,000 so let's let's see it from the angle of uh, discount and now what it is showing you is basically where you have given the lot of discount so with that your pie chart is changed uh, and your pies are basically different slice of the pies have been changed based on how the discount is so if I just remove it it packs to the normal situation uh, but if I want to add a twist to it and see it from the perspective of discount I will add the discount to the pie chart and it shows as a much better information so that's how you can play with your pie chart and make it more impactive impactful and intuitive all right that's pretty much all in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic